Top Hydraulic Motor Interview Questions and Answers Preparing for a hydraulic motor interview? Look no further. In this video, we dive into the most frequently asked hydraulic motor interview questions and provide detailed answers to help you succeed. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced professional, this guide covers essential topics such as hydraulic motor types, working principles, performance characteristics, and troubleshooting techniques. Enhance your understanding of hydraulic motors and boost your confidence with expert tips and explanations. Watch now and get a step closer to your dream job. Question number one, what is a hydraulic motor? Answer. A hydraulic motor is a mechanical actuator that converts hydraulic energy, fluid pressure, into rotational mechanical energy. It operates as the driving force behind hydraulic systems, providing the necessary power to move components such as wheels, gears, or other machinery parts. Question number two. How does a hydraulic motor work? Answer. A hydraulic motor works by receiving pressurized fluid from a hydraulic pump. The fluid's pressure pushes against internal components like gears, vanes, or pistons, causing the motor shaft to rotate. The output torque and speed are determined by the fluid flow rate and pressure. Question number three, what are the different types of hydraulic motors? Answer. The main types of hydraulic motors include, O-gear motors, external and internal gear. O-vane motors O-piston motors, axial and radial piston, o gerotor and gerular motors. Question number 4, what factors should be considered when selecting a hydraulic motor? Answer. Key factors include the required torque and speed, the operating pressure, the fluid type, the motor's efficiency, the application environment, and compatibility with the hydraulic system's overall design. Question number 5, what is the difference between a hydraulic motor and a hydraulic pump? Answer. While both hydraulic motors and pumps are similar in construction, their functions differ. A hydraulic pump converts mechanical energy into hydraulic energy by moving fluid into the system, whereas a hydraulic motor converts hydraulic energy back into mechanical energy to perform work. Question number 6, what is the significance of displacement in a hydraulic motor? Answer. Displacement in a hydraulic motor refers to the volume of fluid required to turn the motor shaft by one revolution. It is a critical parameter that determines the motor's torque and speed characteristics. Higher displacement results in higher torque but lower speed, and vice versa. Question number 7. What are the key differences between radial piston and axial piston hydraulic motors? Answer. Radial piston motors have pistons arranged radially around a central axis, where the pistons move in and out along a circular path, providing high torque at low speeds. Axial piston motors, on the other hand, have pistons arranged parallel to the axis of rotation. They offer higher speeds and are more compact but typically provide lower torque compared to radial piston motors. Radial piston motors are often used in applications requiring high torque, while axial piston motors are preferred for applications needing high speed and smooth operation. Question number 8. What are the common causes of hydraulic motor failure? Answer. Common causes of hydraulic motor failure include, O contaminated hydraulic fluid, O overheating. O excessive pressure or flow, O inadequate lubrication, O wear and tear of internal components O misalignment or improper installation. Question number 9, how can you improve the efficiency of a hydraulic motor? Answer. Efficiency can be improved by ensuring the motor is properly sized for the application, maintaining clean and high quality hydraulic fluid, minimizing leakage, reducing friction through proper lubrication, and performing regular maintenance. Question number 10. What maintenance practices are essential for hydraulic motors? Answer. Essential maintenance practices include, O regular inspection for leaks or damage O monitoring and maintaining proper fluid levels and quality O ensuring correct alignment and mounting O replacing worn out seals, bearings, and other components O keeping the motor clean and free from contaminants. Question number 11. What is volumetric efficiency in a hydraulic motor? Answer. Volumetric efficiency refers to the ratio of the actual output flow of the motor to its theoretical flow based on displacement and speed. It measures the motor's ability to minimize internal leakage, with higher volumetric efficiency indicating better performance. Question number 12. How does a variable displacement hydraulic motor differ from a fixed displacement motor? Answer. A fixed displacement hydraulic motor delivers a constant torque and speed for a given flow and pressure, as its displacement is fixed. A variable displacement motor allows for adjustment of its displacement, enabling it to vary torque and speed dynamically based on the requirements of the application. Question number 13. What role does a hydraulic accumulator play in a hydraulic motor system? Answer. A hydraulic accumulator stores energy in the form of pressurized fluid, which can be released when needed to supplement the hydraulic system. 
In motor systems, it can help smooth out pressure fluctuations, provide emergency power, or absorb shocks. Question number 14. Can you explain cavitation in hydraulic motors? Answer. Cavitation occurs when the pressure in the hydraulic fluid drops below its vapor pressure, causing vapor bubbles to form. When these bubbles collapse, they create intense shock waves that can damage the motor's internal components. Cavitation is typically caused by issues like inadequate fluid levels, high fluid temperature, or excessive speed. Question number 15. What is the function of a case drain in a hydraulic motor? Answer. A case drain is a port in the hydraulic motor that allows for the removal of internal leakage fluid that has bypassed the motor's internal components. This fluid is directed back to the reservoir, preventing excessive pressure buildup within the motor casing and reducing the risk of seal damage. Question number 16. How do hydraulic motors handle overload conditions? Answer. Hydraulic motors typically use relief valves or pressure limiting devices to handle overload conditions. These components limit the maximum pressure in the system, preventing damage to the motor and other hydraulic components by diverting excess fluid back to the reservoir or an accumulator. Question number 17. What is a hydraulic motor's starting torque, and why is it important? Answer. Starting torque is the torque that a hydraulic motor generates when it begins to rotate from a standstill. It is important because it determines the motor's ability to overcome initial resistance and start moving the load. Motors with high starting torque are preferable for applications with heavy loads or high inertia. Question number 18. What are the advantages of using hydraulic motors in industrial applications? Answer. Hydraulic motors offer several advantages, including high power density, the ability to generate high torque at low speeds, smooth and precise control, robustness in harsh environments, and the ability to be used in systems where space constraints exist. Question number 19. What is the significance of back pressure in a hydraulic motor system? Answer. Back pressure is the resistance that fluid faces as it exits the hydraulic motor and returns to the reservoir or another part of the system. Excessive back pressure can reduce the motor's efficiency, because overheating, and lead to premature wear. Proper system design and component selection are essential to manage back pressure effectively. Question number 20. What is a bidirectional hydraulic motor, and where is it used? Answer. A bidirectional hydraulic motor can rotate in both directions, allowing it to drive loads forward and backward. It is commonly used in applications like winches, conveyors, and machine tools, where the ability to reverse motion is necessary for operational flexibility.